Hi guys, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple and today's video is a quick tutorial on how I built my Jeep SUV camper bed. It's a modular system and I did that on purpose as this is a car that I use every day. So let's take a look at how and why I did it the way I did it. Um, so like I said, this is a car that I use every day. So if I'm going to Home Depot or grocery shopping, I wanted to have something that I could still utilize as, you know, a cargo or a, you know, just a Jeep that I drive every day. But I didn't want something that I had to drag my camper bed in and out of all the time. So this is why we built this in sections and we built it at the height that we did so we could keep things in our Jeep as storage for camping but still utilize the back end as a regular everyday car. One of the reasons why we built it in this modular fashion is number one, my spare tire is under here so I need to have access. So nothing's bolted. I can literally lift this out and take out everything that's underneath here if I need to to get to my spare tire. But also, I didn't want to have to load everything in every time I wanted to go camping, so I wanted to have all these sections filled with my camping essentials, but still have enough room from here to the top of my Jeep to utilize it every day, whether I went to a home improvement center or whatever, groceries, that I still had enough room to get everything in when I actually use my car every day. I'll use another video to take you through exactly how I store everything here, but for now, let's just get started on how I built this camper bed. Okay, so my bed is built into two major sections. This section back here, which we can leave in if we decide to put these passenger seats up and seat four people, but still have storage for some of our camp equipment and be able to get things in the back of the bed. The second section here is a separate unit. Again, nothing's bolted down. It sets up against the back unit. It also has our hinge pieces to make our bed fully functional. And this section can be pulled out if we need to put these seats up to have four passengers and again still keep this part functional um, carrying some of our camp equipment as well as giving us some storage to get groceries and things on our everyday business. So the only other thing to that then is the hinge section here which once all the seats are pulled completely up these will fold flat and allow us to fully make a bed in our Jeep. All right, so I wanted to make this build as simple and as inexpensive as possible. So the materials for the build are two pieces of four foot by eight foot plywood, three quarter inch. We have a box of one and a half inch wood screws. I also have construction adhesive, a 30 inch piano hinge and an 11 inch piano hinge. I bought a 48 inch dowel and then two sets of wooden closet rod holders. Altogether, this project took us about four hours to do with all of the drawing and cutting and just making sure everything was going to fit properly. So what we're going to do is build this bed platform into two or three parts with the very back part being able to fit in my trunk of my Jeep with the seats up so that way later I can actually leave it in my Jeep for storage if I want. Plus, if I have a flat tire, I need to be able to get that piece of platform out, be able to lift and get everything for my spare tire to change it. So we're going to do the back section will just be one square frame that I can pull out on my own. To keep things as light as possible, we used a three quarter inch plywood as the bed top and also as the supports and dividers underneath. We use construction adhesive and one and a half inch wood screws to hold it all together. Looking pretty good. So this is the back third of my bed platform with storage. Looking pretty good. Our second piece is in and now we have the supports going from the side left car to the side right of the car so I have one long bay here to stick longer things in for storage. Alright so our platform and storage for our Jeep Liberty camper is now complete. The back end of this is 41 and a half inches wide. Uh, we kept that that way because we have some extra space here just to slide a few things down in here and we didn't want to make a lot of interesting cutouts and we have some space down in here for our shoes and such. The second part of the platform here 
um, from here to here is 48 inches wide with a little bit of room once the doors are closed and then the last part is also 48 that is our hinged part that has the leg supports it's hinged so we can lift them and fold them back and push the driver and passenger seat back so that we can drive okay so we have two different piano hinges this is the smaller one so this side will be where I will probably keep my cooler and things like that under here this will also allow us to flip this back and be able to push the seats back while we're driving and give us some space in the front of the car so another perspective is here I'll be able to lift this up there's a cooler here but also then this will come back down and give me a full platform for the bed. So we have a 30 inch hinge on this side which will allow me to flip this part of the bed back so that we have a lot of storage here as well. And also then if I decided I wanted to prop this seat up because I wanted to be propped up in bed, I can do that here as well. So I'm going to be using these wooden closet rod holders to keep my dowel in place so the top on the hinge side will have this and then a bottom support will be on here. So this will be glued to the bottom of the dowel just to give me a little bit more stability. So now I have my dowel in with its foot and then underneath here has the support so that the whole top part of this part of the bed frame is supported. So I angled the bracket so that the opening here is easy for me to slide the pole in and out when I need to assemble it on both sides. And the poles that are made from dowels and closet rod holders are exactly the same size so it doesn't matter which side I use them on. Now the larger side of the bed platform will have a leg and it will also have a rest right here. We're going to build something so it will rest on top of the console for support. The smaller side here is not going to be able to rest on the console. I'll have a leg here and it will be right in the middle of this board here but it's not a very large piece so we should have plenty of support. So when I'm in driving mode this hinge piece is going to be folded back onto the bed here and then the dowel will be stored underneath here. On the passenger side of the car we have storage in the front that we showed you earlier. We can access that through that hinge. This part of this will flip up. I can get to water or my cooler here. In the midsection we also have storage so I can also fit these bins. So this bay is about 19 inches across by 7 inches tall and this bin can come out or we don't have to have anything in there. This is 48 inches all the way through to the other side so if we need to store something very long it can go in here. So our two mattresses for the back of the Jeep arrived today and we have them unfolded and laying back on the platform. What I like is that they're soft enough that I can stuff the sides in here because they're 50 inches total, they're 25 inches each, and we only have 41 and a half inches across here, so we've stuffed a little bit down the side here and it seems to be holding fine, and then the rest of it just opens up into the upper part of the platform and it's making a nice big 50 inch wide bed for the back of our Jeep Liberty. So as you can see in my Jeep camper, I don't keep my foam mattress bed in here because A, I don't want it to get dirty and everything when we're using it to go to like the home improvement center, but it also takes up quite a bit of room so we move that out. And I'll go through in another video what I actually keep in my Jeep every day um, for camping and how I store all of that. So you know, look for that in the description below for my next video. Well, that's it for me on this SUV camper build. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, get outside, enjoy the great outdoors, and I'll see you guys in the next video.